is going on everybody? It's Coach Josh, checking in, signing in, logging in, vlogging in, and I'm excited. I had this idea, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I wanted to make like this really big, crazy, awesome introduction into this series, but I decided that success like speed, so just take action now and just start recording the videos, get out and just like start recording, start putting out content um, and stop putting it off because I put it off way too long and I wanna document the rest of this journey with you guys. So I am training for my first ever Ironman. We're gonna be starting off doing a half Ironman, which is coming up. Now, if you guys are not familiar with what a full Ironman is, the half Ironman is essentially gonna be exactly half of it, but a full Ironman consists of a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, followed by a 26.2 full marathon back to back to back, no stop. So we are eight weeks out from our half and we are 17 weeks out from our full. So the first one we're gonna be doing, the half is in Sandusky, that is the 70.3. And then the full is the Ironman Chattanooga 146, 140.6. Uh, that's gonna be September 25th. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys today is my meals. I'm gonna take you guys really just throughout my day, show you some of my training. I'm still trying to figure it out today because I want to hit a strength training session, but we'll see. Time is going to be limited today because our Ironman training calls for an hour and a half cycle followed by immediately six by 800 meter repeats. So I need to get some food going because I got to jump on a meeting call here very shortly. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're eating right now. What we're going to be eating. So right here, I have one package of Uncle Ben's um, brown rice. I added some Himalayan pink sea salt on top. There's also a serving of ketchup. So there's going to be plenty of good complex carbohydrates. Also in my shaker, which I'm going to go ahead and slam this real quick. This has two scoops of protein in there as well as a scoop of glutamine. Now, typically I do also like to add in creatine, but we're out of creatine right now. And then if I'm going to hit, if I have enough time to hit a strength session before my Ironman training, I'm going to do it after my work call which is going to be starting in about 20 minutes then we're going to have a package of these also so in here these are the brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts so we will have this i'm also going to show you guys some of the vitamins and and whatnot that i'm taking right now this is very important this is very crucial especially right now with my iron man training my joints i'm doing a lot of movement so this is called number seven and so this is joint support you can pick this up online we get it from the vitamin shop uh so i am taking this currently just one um one serving one pill whatever and then right here taking some zinc Zinc, making sure we're getting this in our body as well and then making sure also vitamin C and then I'm also getting my vitamin D in. I would be doing 10 droplets of this but I'm doing five uh, just because I'm gonna be out in the sun a lot more so I'm gonna get be getting plenty of vitamin D so hopefully this will focus for you guys this is the athletic greens we had this from a previous purchase so we are giving this a try so I'm gonna do five droplets of this bad boy here so let's go ahead mm, 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 mm. It doesn't taste bad, but it also doesn't taste good. It just kind of tastes like oil. It tastes like, yeah, like oil. It's not super fun. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take the rest of these pills. We're gonna get eating, and then we're gonna see if we can crank out a little bit of work before we gotta jump on this work call. So that's what we're doing, and I'll take you guys with me. So let's go. Okay, so we cranked out a ton of work. It's uh, 3.30, and so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready for my bike. So I have my laptop set up, the bike set up. I need to throw on my cycling shoes. So we have an hour and 24 minute cycling ride. After this, we have 800 meter repeats. We have six of them. But right now what I'm gonna do is go ahead, take my big water jug, put it into my shaker. And I like to have this while I'm on my cycle. I try to go through at least one bottle, sometimes two per hour. And so what I'm gonna do is put two scoops of this in my shaker. So that way I'm gonna be getting roughly um, about 50 grams of carbohydrates. And so I'm gonna be sipping on this throughout my cycling workout to keep me fueled up. This is a little bit of a shorter cycling workout. I'm sorry, I know I'm talking and moving uh, much faster. Just because I'm on a time crunch, I need to crank this out. And then, like I said, I have to do the run after. And then I also have to get back to some more work. I have a training that I have to teach and then also another big work call later this evening. So. We have a very busy day. Like I said, since um, I last checked in with you guys, we've been moving absolutely nonstop, but we show up, we do what we gotta do each and every single day and get it done. With Ironman training, it does require a lot of time, a lot of dedication, and a lot of planning. Trying to figure out how you're gonna navigate your day when you have hours and hours of training. It can be very, very tricky at times, but you just make it happen, right? So. Just showing you guys being real and raw. So right now I am just trying to hurry as fast as possible and 
not mess anything up. So we have that all mixed up and I will go ahead and show you guys the rest of the setup here in just a second. I wish I had somebody here so I could like have them like go around and get some super dope angles, but I will be getting that for you guys in the future. I'll try to time it up so I can have some people come over. Like I said, I'm gonna get that content. I'm gonna find a way to make it happen no matter what, because I'm gonna get some sick angles for you guys and uh, just really capture everything that really goes into all of the training for the Ironman prep. So, uh, but this is one of the fun parts. One of the, you know, not so sexy parts that people don't know about is just like the rushing and trying to make everything fit into a day, uh, especially when you're running a business, you're managing that, relationships and everything else. Uh, this is just part of it guys, but I wanna show you the real, the raw, the nitty gritty, everything that goes into it. It's not easy, it's not always sexy. I know people, will, they'll post like highlights of their workouts and like all the cool slow motion stuff and just like the motivational speeches, but nobody shows like the, hey, I gotta get my ass on this bike and cycle and run and then get back to, you know, finishing the project that I was working on and then gotta finish everything else for another meeting that I have coming up and then get a short little quick 30 minute break, eat and hydrate and then have another meeting after that and then crank out some work uh, before the day is over. So this is part of what goes into it. I gotta get started, so I'll check in with you guys soon. So right now, we're doing the cycling workout. Once again, it's like an hour and 24 minutes. Uh, we had our warm up ramped up in stages. Now we're gonna be hitting our uh, 13 out of 14. Let me flip the camera and show you. Keeping that 310 watt, it's no joke, especially after what we've already done. And then knowing that we have six, six 800 meter repeats after this. Woo, some next level stuff, guys. Legs are, legs are definitely feeling it. My lungs are good. Uh, my lungs feel really good, but legs, <laughs> Definitely, definitely feeling a squad. So I'll throw the camera up so you guys can see how hard we're grinding for these uh, 310 watts. So I'll see you in a second. Uh, three, two, one. Ah, uh, shit. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, that lactic acid. It's that good stuff like battery acid in your veins or a quote from Fight Club if you know you know also shout out to my middies cross-country fam I ran until my legs pumped battery acid and then I ran some more <laughs> so we finished up on the bike and did a quick transition got our running shoes on and we're gonna have a five minute uh, run warm-up and then we're gonna get into the six by 800 meter repeats, which is supposed to be at a pretty hard effort. So ah, let's crank this out because we got a bunch of work. We got to finish right after this workout. So let's go. I'll did you guys. We already did our hour, it's an hour and a half cycle. Now we're doing our half mile repeats. We got three of six done. I got a minute and 10 left for my recovery. I wanna come out here and be raw with you guys. It's fucking suck right now. My legs are super heavy, fing tired. There's nothing more I'd like to do than go home and fucking eat and chill out, but fucking goals. So, this is what it takes when you don't want to, when you're tired, fucking hurt. Guys, this is what it's about. You know, I tell you guys I'm hype all the time and stuff, but this shit sucks sometimes, but it fucking matter. You do it, you show up, you grind through it. I know I'm gonna be dead by the time I'm done with all these. But it doesn't matter. I know I'm gonna feel better. Even though right now it sucks. It really sucks, trust me. But it's all gonna be worth it in the end. I just wanna hop on here and uh, tell you about Crush Your Day Squad. We just finished up five of six. We got one more to go. I'm so, so excited to be done with these because these suck really bad. And I'm not, I'm not saying that in a complaining kind of way. I'm saying that like guys, like this training is just brutal. Not every workout's gonna be fun. It's gonna suck some days. And same with you guys on your fitness journey. And even regardless, you guys don't have to be training for an Ironman. Whether you guys are looking to burn fat, build muscle, I know I know it's tough getting in there, getting on the treadmill day after day, putting in the work on the treadmill, the elliptical, the stair step or whatever, burning those calories when you're tired and you don't want to. You got a million other things to do. When you're hitting the weights, the lactic acid is burning up, building up, your muscles are burning, your muscles are on fire, and you just want to go home. Guys, I want to know, I want you to know that I'm here with you guys. We got this, we could do this, we're pushing through. We're in this together, fam. Let's go. All right, fam. So we're back from the run. We finished up the hour and 
25 minute cycle. And then we had to do those six by 800 meter repeats, half mile repeats. Uh, and that took 33 minutes and 43 seconds. So we went a total on the bike for 24.2 miles. And uh, I don't think it says exactly how many calories we burned um, directly on that. At least I can't see. Yeah, da, 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 da. And I'll show you guys the stats right there. Uh, hopefully it'll focus for you guys. So that was the cycle session. And then right off of the bike into the run. So here it is. Boom. And I'll read you guys off the splits in just a second. So I wasn't able to do this on a track. I just kind of did it in my development. Uh, so let me see if I can tell you guys the exact breakdown. So here are the split times. So we did a, a warm up for five minutes. And then so our first, um, first half mile was an average pace of 557 and our time was 257. The second one was an average pace of 539 and we finished it in 248. The third one was an average pace of 531. We finished it in 244, so we're progressively getting faster. Then the next one for a uh, mile, or I'm sorry, for a half mile four, was an average pace of 528, so once again getting faster, and the time was uh, 243, and then we went uh, to a 529 average pace, and we hit a 243.4, and then the last one was an average pace, uh, and I believe it was the fastest one out of all of them, was 525 average pace, and the finishing time was two minutes and 41 seconds. So. That was the workout. It was brutal. It was tough. It was one of those workouts that you hate and you really like, you don't want to do it and you just want to be done with it. Um, but be like, when you're done with it, you always know you're going to feel so much better. And it's the workouts like these that you like really don't look forward to that you hate that make you so much better. It makes you so much stronger, not just physically, but mentally, honestly, like so much more mentally, just because like it shows you what you're capable of, like how much you can actually push your body. I'm sorry if I have like a spit or something all over my face. Um, but guys, it really shows you how far you can push yourself. And it shows you that there's always more in the tank than, than you believe there is. And it's just about putting one foot in front of the other. You just shut off your mind and you just keep going. You just tell your body to keep going. You, cl you clear out the thoughts of, of pain, of your lungs being on fire, of, of your legs burning, of all that. You just clear it out and you just keep moving. And doing workouts like these, like I said, you really hate and you don't look forward to at all. But when you're done, you just feel so, you feel so powerful. You just feel so strong because you know that you did it and you know that like, yes, while even though sometimes it sucks, you know that there's always like a little bit more. You know that like you just put yourself in a position to where now there's another level. Even if it's gonna suck really, really bad, you know that you're capable of doing it. And that's what it's all about. It's about constantly improving ourselves, getting 1% better every single day, every single workout, no matter what, just 1%. We don't have to jump up all these leaps and bounds. Like I know a lot of people try to go from zero to 100 way too quick, but guys, like it's literally these progressions, these workouts, and it, that's just like really what makes all the difference, guys. Because during that, I mean, I was just on my Instagram stories talking about it. Guys, like it sucked, it was brutal. I was not looking forward to this one at all. I have a big mental thing when it comes to 800 meter repeats because that was like my big race in middle school and high school. And my brain goes to a very bad place for some reason, um, just with the, the way that I felt after running those races. It was my best event, it was my best race because I broke the middle school record and then I rebroke my own record and then I did really well in high school also. But the thing is, and I never found out exactly why it was, but after every single 800 meter run uh, race, because I pushed myself so hard, I would feel like almost ill afterwards. Like I would literally have to go lay down. I would have like a cough. It was like this really weird thing. And I, I went to the doctors. I could never figure out what it was, but like I just always associated like that race with that. And I always knew going into it, I was like, I know exactly how I'm gonna feel after it and it's gonna feel awful. So like I knew I was gonna push myself. I was gonna show up and give it my best but it just, I always dreaded it at the same time because I knew I was gonna feel like shit afterwards. And there was a couple times where I almost had to go to the hospital because like I was just like laying there just like, just gone, like not well. And it would take me a while to recover. Um, and it just didn't make any sense. We never got any answers. We never really figured it out. Um, but that was kind of where my brain always went and associated with. But honestly, those, while they were they were tough, they weren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. They, they weren't, but once again, I know like I'm getting mentally stronger, I'm getting physically stronger, my body, I'm probably in the best shape that I've ever been in my entire life. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited that we got that workout in, we got it done, we're done with our workouts for the day. Now it is time to uh, hydrate, 
to get some good food in. We gotta eat a ton of calories. So today, uh, so far we've burned just a little under a thousand calories and we have some work that we gotta crank out. We have a presentation that we gotta do. We have a meeting that we gotta jump on. We have some videos that we gotta record. We have some videos that we gotta edit and we still have a bunch of work to do. So the grind never stops and uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, I need to shower and eat and get ready for this presentation. So see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you guys did make it here to the end of the video. I want to say that I do appreciate you. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. And just to let you guys know, we are going to be putting out a lot more videos moving forward, really documenting the rest of the process, documenting the journey, showing you guys everything that goes into it from the training, the nutrition, the mindset, and all that kind of fun stuff. I also do plan on trying to get a couple interviews going on the channel with some other people that I know who have done Ironman races. Also try to get my coach on here, have him talk about his experience. He he did qualify for Kona, which is like the pinnacle of Ironman training, so absolutely insane. But I'm just excited to share the rest of this journey with you guys and take you guys along for the ride. So if you guys did like this video, please go ahead, do me a favor, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It pushes the video out to as many people who are interested into this type of training and this type of style of video as possible. And then if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you click that little bell notification, it'll keep you guys notified every single time that I do drop a new video. And if you guys have any questions or comments, comments or anything like that, please feel free to leave them down in the comment box below. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.